Welcome. Thank Happy you. Christmas. Happy Christmas to you and well done for you. Is it, is it your first, first my, child? My first child, yes. Oh, excellent. So I'm um, looking forward it to it. It doesn't hurt. Childbirth doesn't, doesn't hurt. Okay, no, okay thank you. Right. Any yeah. other advice for la labour? Uh, no, just no. get on with it. Man up and get on with it. Man up and get on Grow with it. Grow up here and get on with it, all right? Okay, all right, perfect. Let's talk about Christmas yes. at the uh, at the Razor household. You must have some bizarre traditions, surely. Well, I have everyone at my house. Um, so I've got about 16 Christmas Day. Because I like to... I've got my own chair. I've got the control button. <laughs> you were in charge, and basically. If, and if I want to go and have a sleep, I go and have a sleep. <laughs> you're, not th you're not at that age already when you, do, you park up in the afternoon and you sleep for a couple of hours, are you? I've been like that for about 30 years. <laughs> but Master Chef finalist, yes. surely you have some delicacies on Christmas Day. Are you in charge of the cooking as well? I'm gravy. I'm gravy boy. I always, always do the great. Because, I mean, Master Chef, it's one of them things. I, was, <laughs> I, I could cook, but when you go on Master Chef, it really does improve. I mean... It's, I think it's one of the few things in life that you can get better at and better and better. You know, there's a lot of things in life you cannot do. It's physically or mentally impossible, impossible for you to get better. But cooking, you can get better. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sauce man. A Jew man, they call it. <laughs> myself. They would, when I say gravy, I mean Jew. So, a Jew, do, I mean, do you have more gravy than vegetables and meat? Listen, it doesn't matter what the food tastes under the gravy. If the gravy is spot on, everything's beautiful. So that's all... your, your top pick for Christmas dinner is make sure the gravy is spot on. It don't matter what's underneath. Just make sure the gravy is top shelf. Make sure the gravy's tidy. <laughs> tidy. Hey, look, talking to Wales, I know that you're a big fan of uh, Andy Powell, and likewise. Uh, a message for Andy Powell, because I know he'll be watching this. <laughs> we'll tag him. Well, I, I, uh, I rang him this morning. He went in the best of health, so I thought, I ain't going to tell him where I am. He's one of my best friends, Andy. So I thought, I ain't going to tell him where I am because he'll come and turn up and be... It's going to be a big Friday night in Cardiff otherwise, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a nightmare <laughs> and uh, I don't need Andy Powell around me when I'm trying to be sensible. <laughs> Keep him away from the motorway. <laughs> yes, yes, and the golf course buggies and things. Uh, enjoy your night tonight. Thank you for chatting with us, Thank all right? Thank you very much. And I think you look absolutely beautiful today. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think you look absolutely beautiful today. <laughs> and so do you. <laughs> Twice it took. <laughs> <laughs>